Okay, let's do one more. This is inchworm. Now, how is inchworm different than in a garden? Well, it starts with left, mm -hmm. left hand. Mm -hmm. And does it have the same rhythm? You know what rhythm means? It means does it have the same value of the notes up here, like quarter notes and half notes? Yeah. Okay, so um, tell me what is different about inchworm. What is different about inchworm? Well, it starts with left. Yes. And also, it's, it's really, like, even though it has the same amount of notes mm -hmm. and the same, like, like quarter notes and half, half notes, notes mm -hmm. um, it, it gets higher. Is this one getting higher or is it going lower? Because let's look at this. Here's the first oh, sorry, right. Lower. That's right. It's, it's kind of confusing. Lower. Exactly. So this group is here. This is higher than this. So this went to the right and got higher. An inchworm starts higher and goes one group lower. You know, it's really divided into two groups, each one. That's right. That's right. I'm actually going to sight sing. You know what sight sing means? I give myself the first note, and I know it's actually going up and down, isn't it? Is that what it's doing? Yeah, so I can actually sing it and start counting like this. One, 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 two, one, two. Lower, one, 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 two, one, two. That's called sight singing. We, you know, when you're in a choir or a chorus, like at church or something. You have to go up? Yeah. They, they actually give them, they have a little pitch pipe. They give them the first note, and then they I have to sing it sometimes without even a piano because they're reading the notes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let, let's actually now say the words, and I'll count as you say the words. Can you say the words? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, 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 one two, one, two, stretch one, 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 two, one, two. You're getting the idea of that, those longer half notes. Very nice. Okay, now this time, let's see, this one we started big and we made an echo. Yeah. Let's do the opposite. Let's do the opposite with this one. Let's start this one soft and make the last group bigger. Because, you know, during the week I'm going to ask you to experiment with your big sound and your, your soft sound. Yeah. Okay? You might be creative and say, you know, I did something a little different this week with my soft and loud. I kept my steady beat, but I decided to do something, maybe get a little bit bigger. Then I decided to come back and melt my sound. You can do all kinds of things with that, right? That's what makes piano so much fun, that you have different colors. You know what I mean by colors? Mm -hmm different sounds, different feelings by louds and soft. Or if you played this staccato, look what would happen. This one wouldn't be staccato or I couldn't get the half note, right? Oh, yeah. Of course, it doesn't sound like an inchworm because the inchworm would kink up, up, up. The inchworm is like this, right? Is the inchworm going like this? Yeah. Little wavy inchworm mm -hmm. body. I'm going to let you be creative this week and do different things with your louds and softs because that's sometimes you need to like be a little composer and come back with some interesting ideas of how to play your pieces. It's a good idea. Okay, we'll finish with inchworm. All right, so where does inchworm start? It starts where all your other pieces did. Music finger number three, right. Okay, so I'm going to play... Wait, should I sit on that side? No, because believe it or not, the teacher part is still over here. Oh, so my geez. teacher part didn't end up for this one over here. It's written for me over there. But you know what? And you're, you're absolutely right. So you know what I'm going to ask you to do? And actually it shows this, that the student doesn't start here. The student starts here. That was very smart of you to notice. Uh, because I just noticed that they put the student part not here so that we wouldn't collide. You're going to start here, and then you're going to come down here. here. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what the piece is all about. You're right. Okay, so set yourself up there. And actually, this is the top group, and this is the going down group. So we can practice that. This group is going to go over to that one. Now, we decided we're going to start with a big sound. Is that what we're going to do? We're going to do the opposite, a soft sound, and then a big sound. And then we'll reverse it. Okay? So the first playing, we're going to do soft sound to big sound. Then we're going to stop, and then we're going to end with what? Big, Big sound, sound to echo soft. sound. Echo's echo always sound. softer. Okay, I'm going to count how many beats? 
8. Just going to do 8. I'm not doing 8 plus 8. You'll do that on your disc. Okay, you all ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It sounds like an intro. Listen to my part. This mm -hmm. is my part. Listen. Listen to this. Because it meanders like, like this. Oh, yeah. Look, like this. That's what I was doing. Those are called, these are called. The cl these are the tiniest steps on the piano. See? The notes are really close together. And it does sound like an intro. And you know what I'm going to ask you to do? What? I'm going to let you be a little creative this week. I want you to write a piece. Don't write it. Compose a piece. You don't have to write it down. Which uses notes that are very close together. Okay, like that. And we want you to use quarter notes and half notes. Wait, do you want me to use these parts too? You can use it anywhere you want. You can go like this. Watch. you want. It's okay. all creative. You're just going to create okay. something. But you're going to use quarter notes that you learned today, which are one count each. And you're going to use half notes. You're going to mix them up. You don't have to write it down. No. Okay. Because I'm letting you explore the piano. But I would like you to use these two fingers for one of your yeah. pieces. And then I want you to use... These two yeah. Wouldn't that be fun to make up your own little pieces? Oh, yeah. I can't wait. And you know what? Maybe you'll go, oh gee, I forgot what I actually did. Eventually, we will write down your piece, so you'll know what to do. I'll have to learn how to do all this. But I'm not, I'm more interested in surrendering to your imagination this week. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's finish with this one more time. It's so pretty, isn't it? But what we decided to do that was different, because you're starting up here. Wait, um, yes, you're starting up there. You know, I should write that in for you, because they don't tell the student. Only the teacher knows that. See, you wouldn't know that. The teacher knows that. But I'll write it in your music that you're starting on the group above the middle here, okay? Do I start um You mean on your louder? own piece? You mean on your Oh, for this? Right. Do you're I gonna, start louder? Right, because this is going to be the echo. Okay, so because, I start louder. Because last time we did soft and we got louder. Now we're reversing. We're going big, small, echo. Okay? All right, using finger number three. And I'm going to give you a group of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big now. Eight. Echo. Nice. Lovely. That was a lot of fun today, wasn't it?